Welcome back to SolidWorks and NC Tutor YouTube channel. Before starting the video, if you are new and haven't subscribed our channel, press the subscribe button. In this SolidWorks exercise tutorial, we are going to make the 3D model using and reading this 2D drawing. So our 3D model will look like this. So watch the complete video. I will show you the step by step procedure of how to make this 3D model. So let's start. So first of all, we will start with this section. So we will make this section with the 80 mm length and with 25 mm height and the dia is given as 36 mm. So select the front plane from here, go to sketch, select the line from here, select midpoint line like this. So I am going, I am making the midpoint line because uh, it is always in the center of the plane. So the planes are distributed equally. That's why I have made the midpoint line through this origin. So the length of our first line is 80 mm. And now we are going to make the height of 25 mm like this. So as you know the dia of the outer circle was 36 mm. So we will make a circle and give it the dia of 35 mm. So now we will align this uh, these two dots and select these two dots and make them vertical like this. Now uh, the height from this center point to this line is 36 mm. If you want the drawing PDF just comment below and I will provide you the PDF link. So now I will select the line from here and make the tangent line joining this point like this. Same with this. So the width of this line is 16 mm. So I will select the dimension for this line and select 16 mm from here. So make sure that your sketch is fully defined and these circles and, and these line and circle is in tangent. So, so now uh, our first sketch is ready. So the inside circle was missing. We will make a circle of 22 mm dia like this. So our first section, so our first section sketch is ready. Go to exit sketch from here. Select extrude boss base command. And as you can see that these are the, uh, the sketch is not fully closed and there is an intersect in this sketch. Therefore, we have to select the contours to make them extrude. So select this contour and this extrude. So we will select both these contours and select mid plane from here. So now the width of our part is 77 plus 6 and plus 6 from here. So it is total of, so it is total of 89 mm. So first of all we will make the width of 77 and after that we will extrude the uh, outer circles to 6 mm. So give it the value of 77 mm from here. Select OK. Now select this face. Go to sketch. And select this entities. Convert entity and make the circle. Like this. Now simply go to extrude boss space command. And give it the value of 6 mm. Select OK. So now uh, our mid plane is front plane. So now we will select mirror from here and select the feature. Select OK. So the, our uh, feature has been mirrored to the side. So now our first section is ready. Uh, now we have to make the middle section and this upper portion as you can see. So first of all we will cut this as the total 
width is 28 mm from here here you can see that the uh, width of this total part is 16 mm so I will make the reference point here select this and give it the value of 16 mm like this so now we can easily make the cutout in center so now again make a center line select both sketch and select mirror entities from here now join this sketch and close the sketch to use the feature of extrude cut from here so select through all both select ok so now as you can see our shape is ready now we will make the two portion so first of all we are going to make this uh, rectangular cut and then we will make this uh, triangle circle so as you can see that we will make the circle of 22 mm from here and we will give it the height of 28 mm so select this face go to sketch and now we will make the circle of 22 mm dia like this and now we will make the line like this so the distance from this point to this point is 28 mm and it is with horizontal to this origin now the dimension from this point to this point is 16 mm like this so now we will give it the value of 22 mm like this so now we will simply make the part again make sure that these two entities are tangent to each other make this line horizontal so now you can see that our part is ready so basically the midpoint is the middle distance is 22 mm so and the center and the distance from this center to this is 28 mm so now we will simply go to features select extrude from here and select the inverse direction and the depth of this is 12 mm as you can see from here so it is showing that this part this part is aligned with this rectangular so the uh, depth of this is 12 mm so we will simply give it the value of 12 mm from here select ok now we will make the triangular circle like this so again simply make uh, select the circle from here and see the dia so the dia of the circle is 36 mm and the distance from this line is 25 mm the inside circle dia is 18 mm like this now simply select the center point and this line and give it the value of 25 mm so as you can see that our sketch is ready now we will simply uh, join this circle with the with these two points like this again make sure that the circle is tangent with these lines you can select these two entities using control button on the keyboard now I have trimmed the entity and simply go to feature command select it to extrude boss base from here and again give it the value of 12 mm and reverse the direction so our part is ready now uh, 
the thing which is left is the circle is extruded 16 mm upward simply select this face go to sketch and again we are going to make the dia of 36 mm and again make the inside circle like this select feature extrude and give it the value of 4 mm like this and select ok so as you can see that the total width was 16 mm so 12 mm depth was the base part and 4 mm the outer circle so <coughs> so like this you can easily read the drawing and make the part of your choice exactly using the SOLIDWORKS simple features of extrude and cuts so if you want to show the feature dimensions you can simply select the annotations and select show feature dimension now you can easily change the dimension from here to like if I want to change it to 25 mm I can change it easily like this as you can see that the dimension has been changed so this was simple exercise to learn SOLIDWORKS uh, basic features of extrude and how to read drawing thank you for watching keep supporting and keep sharing our channel for more interesting videos